you want to know? Well, I've been thinking about you. And I think I have to listen. Because... You guessed it. We're heading to Seoul. And in very off-brand fashion of me, I am not solo traveling this time. Everything went smoothly at the airport, and just of note, the KATA is something you can pay for to fill out in advance, but I found no issue doing it for free at the airport, and I didn't feel it delayed me. Now, getting from the airport to the hotel was a little bit tricky. The buses are quite extensive with multiple routes, so instead of buying a ticket at an automated machine booth, we went to speak to someone at the information booth, and they directed us to the right place and purchased the tickets for us. Our hotel was in the Hongdae area and by the time we got there it was around 5pm so we decided to just walk around and explore the area we were staying in. And then we stumbled upon a fried chicken place and so for our first meal we had that along with the plum wine. <laughs> I can't. I was crying in the restaurant the entire time. Like my nose is still stuffy, my ears are like plugged. Anyways, we're going to Olive Young to go buy skincare now. This is our first Olive Young stop of the trip at the Hongdae branch and let me tell you it was real busy but a pro tip is that if you see something you like just be sure to snatch it there and then. It is not guaranteed that it's going to be available at another store. This is the only place I managed to find the heart leaf toner but to be honest guys I found that the prices in Japan for the bigger K-beauty brands were a lot cheaper especially at Donkey so if you're going to Japan I would hold out on the bigger brands. So today we went on a DMZ tour. I purchased these tickets via Kluke. Now just to note, you cannot go to the DMZ yourself. You must do it as part of a tour just because there are still a lot of political tensions between North and South Korea. And just to note, even if you do purchase a ticket, it's not guaranteed you'll be able to go in just depending on the situation of the day as anything can happen at any time. We're at the observatory where you can actually look through little binoculars and find propaganda villages of North Korea right over there. Richard and I really like this tour because it was actually quite informative and they do take you to several places within the DMZ. Now to note there is quite a bit of walking to do so please just keep that in mind especially on hot and humid days and there was this one section where we could actually go into a tunnel that South Korea had discovered North Korea digging however no photos and videos were allowed. To note though we are both two very tall people so we spent the entire time walking in the tunnel with a hunched back Probably not the best, but it was still really interesting to see nonetheless. We went back to the hotel then headed out to Myeongdong and I came across this huge store with these nuts with different flavors and oh my gosh, this is an OCD lover's dream. I was a little bit sad that I didn't buy anything, but I was happy that I got to taste test a bunch of flavors that they definitely do not sell in Vancouver. After my long overdue ice cup, we just walked into the basement of a department store where you could find the best food ever. We got kimchi dumplings, pork dumplings, and inari, and then a beef teriyaki hand roll, just as a quick snack so that we could keep going for the day. Basement levels are definitely the way to go for cheap and good eats. And then we headed over to a, another Olive Young, this time with a styling bar, and then basically browsed and bought more skincare once again. And as we were walking along Myeongdong, we came across the restaurant Myeongdong Kyojo, so we decided to stop by and have another quick snack we just got these steam buns dumplings whatever you want to call it and i was honestly fascinated by this tub of kimchi that was just sitting there and you can request a refill after eating the food we both thought it was kind of mid and the kimchi was too spicy for the both of us and it had this really interesting bitter taste that i wasn't really into and after that we just kept browsing around myeongdong this is a huge shopping district so if you're looking for something be sure to stop by around here for shoes you can go to places like abc mart there are lots of individual clothing stores that sell super cute streetwear so whatever you see be sure to walk in 
don't forget that South Korea is basically most alive at nighttime, and a lot of shops don't close until 2 or 3 a.m., so you have plenty of time at night to browse and take your time. As we walked out of the restaurant, we realized that the Myeongdong Night Market had opened up, and this is just along the main streets of Myeongdong where street vendors start to open up and sell food. The only thing I got was a potato cheese hot dog just because I wasn't super hungry since we just ate, but we continued walking around for the rest of the night around this neighborhood. with a train ride back home and on that note transit here can just be a little bit confusing just because when you're trying to figure out which platform to get onto for the train it'll just name some of the most popular stops along the way not necessarily the end stop but not to worry there are usually maps around at the bottom of the platform for you to figure out and then also there are signs with the names of the next stop and so you can figure it out We coincidentally just arrived on time for the changing of the guard ceremony and then we walked into the palace to explore to note, if you do dress up in a handbook, you get entry for free. However, entry without a handbook costs about two to three dollars. It was just a little too hot for us to dress up that day. <laughs> Guys, I found the Yakult lady, and now we're gonna have these blue Yakult drinks that are TikTok famous. But I don't know how to drink them. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So there's like pills in here, and so you just drink it because the liquid comes out of the holes in the bottle. Oh. Do you want me to do it first? Okay, okay. Okay. I don't know why, but this one is supposed to be really healthy for you. After fangirling over the Yakult lady, we decided to walk over to the Guangzhou market. Now, something I didn't realize about this was that this market is not just for food. There is a specific food section, but a bigger part to this market is wholesale fabrics, clothes, goods, whatever, you name it, they got it. And so there's actually a lot to explore here. From the food aspect, this is a very traditional market, so you can sit at any stall and get pretty much the same food. We're walking, and I'm gonna eat this little, what's it called, a roll donut? Yeah. Mm. Here, taste it. It's good. It's like crispy in flavor. Mm, I like. Yeah. The, the vegetable coating? Oh no. Just gonna have to be like this. Yeah. I also don't really know what's in that one, so I'm so sorry if you guys. After the ice cup break, we walked over to the nail mall because this is something I wanted to check out. It is in Miglior Mall. However, to note, there is a separate side of the mall where there's only five floors. You need to go to the one with about 
13 to 16 floors i can't remember exactly but this place is insane i honestly should have bought more total regrets but it has everything you need and because i do my own nails i definitely wanted to stock up on some supplies for super cheap i bought six gel nail polishes some nail files and then got some free gifts and the total came to 52 dollars After visiting the War Museum of Korea, we headed over to the National Museum of Korea. The building itself was so beautiful, and it was really interesting to see all the artifacts and pieces of art that have been kept throughout the years. We once again visited another Olive Young because why not? And this one sold pasties for men, so hey, if you're looking for that, you know where to go. And then we spent the rest of the day shopping around the Gangnam area.